Hello there, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see how to set up the shared project in our microservice application. Uh, so in the last video, we saw uh, how the projects are created. And if you uh, see that uh, right now, the shared project is basically empty with just one file. And that one file is also empty. And we are going to set up this project. Um, as always, I have created a blog post about it. And then uh, the blog post has all the NuGet packages and also the shared module code where you can just copy and then paste and then uh, create the NuGet, uh, set up the shared project for you. So I will first copy the NuGet packages and then edit the um, CS project. And we have our um, NuGet package just updated and now it's time to add the hosting module so uh this is the file name um, and we will create this file here okay and then we will remove the um class one which is not necessary anymore okay so um we can just copy and replace this existing file as well and if you try to build it it should build okay one succeeded um so what this project is doing is that it creates the base uh for all the hosting which we will do in the microservice application so there is an administration host and then the identity server host and then the SaaS server uh, SaaS service host. All these hosts will have a host module and you can see that there will be a bunch of things which will be done again and again and we can basically take this out and then and then put it in the shared project and then reuse this shared project as a dependency so that's the idea if you go back to this um uh, first um part one i have mentioned that the architecture is actually based on eShop and abp but in the eShop and abp you will have a few other um shared projects so they have a spnet core share a spnet gateway share microservice shared host so I didn't do all those things because uh, I don't want to complicate things so much because uh, they are also kind of doing the same thing. They are building things on top of each other. So you can see that um, uh, this uh, is up on sh uh, the, the ASP.NET Core module depends on the host module and um, and the microservice module will depend on a bunch of other modules. Um, yeah, so instead of doing this, I'm just using one project. That's the only difference um, here. So what are all the modules we are bringing? So we are bringing AutoFact, which is the dependency injection, which is used by ABP. Data module is the core module. That uh, exchange is needed for Redis. CD log is needed for logging. Uh, Multi-tenancy is needed because uh, we have a SaaS service, which is multi-tenanted. And then uh, Swashbuckle is for the open API and uh, RabbitMQ is for the distributed uh, messaging and EF Core is for the database uh, communication. And here we are uh, in the configure service section, we are saying we are actually going to use uh, ng-sql as the database and we are saying we are enabling multi-tenancy and we are actually configuring database connections for the services. So uh, the SaaS service is mapped to the tenant service and the uh, administration service is mapped to the audit log, permission settings, and then uh, feature management. Uh, if you think like, okay, where is this coming from? So this administration service will have app settings and in the app settings, there will be a connection string called administration service. So what we are saying is that, hey, if uh, you are looking for an uh, audit log, use the administration service connection string and if you're looking for the identity server server stuff use the identity service and the last one is the localization so every app has a localization uh, code you can come and then see so it's basically the same instead of having it here we are having it in the chat folder um yeah so um that's basically it uh so you just install uh these packages and then um just create this module now we have a shared module ready the next step is to um use the shared module and clean up all the services um that will be another video uh, i will you in another video